The Southeast United States is commonly known as the Bible Belt. However, in this place where darkness is considered as light, the Church of God in Atlanta, Georgia serves as a beacon of true light in this dark world. The Church of God has been a prominent figure in the Atlanta community. Throughout the years, the members of the Church of God have been faithfully sharing God's love through various volunteer activities, including environmental cleanups, blood drives, and community beautification campaigns. The Atlanta City Council has repeatedly recognized the efforts of the Church of God in Atlanta and presented awards to them for their leadership and willingness to serve with the love of a mother. This is all done with the hopes of leading people closer to the kingdom of heaven. Atlanta serves as the center of the South with many Fortune 500 companies like Coca-Cola, Home Depot, and Delta Airlines calling it home. In the same way, Atlanta Zion is the center of the gospel with several branch churches in the region. Loganville Zion is the main church serving branches throughout Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. It also serves as the center for the Southeast Association, which is comprised of seven states, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. There are three temples in the Metro Atlanta area, Loganville, Norcross, and the newest addition, Marietta. Bible centers are located in Alpharetta, Stockbridge, Athens, and Gainesville. The Deep South has four Bible centers located in Columbus, Warner Robins, Augusta, and Savannah. Let's go to Alabama, which is home to four Bible centers, Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile, and Huntsville. Just north of Alabama is Tennessee, where we find four Bible centers in Nashville, Clarksville, Knoxville, and Chattanooga. As God has established Zions all throughout the Southeast, the darkness is retreating and the glory of our Heavenly Mother is being revealed. We will continue to spread the teachings of our Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother in order to offer hope to all who desire to know God. We love you, Father. Thank you, Father and Mother.